Sara Dickenman, uh, we are today in Bielbien. The World Cup uh, dream stays alive for Switzerland. Yes, it does. Um, it was a hard game. Um, both of them were hard. Uh, we didn't win, but um, we're one round. We're, st we're in the final, so I'm really happy. Mm -hmm. Qualification with the away goals. Uh, that's important also. Eh? Yes, of course. We knew that we had a slight advantage um, scoring those two goals. But still, um, we started the game at 0-0 in our heads, and um, it's always nice to go up 1-0. Um, we have uh, been scored on really early recently in the in the game against Scotland. We were down 2-0 after five minutes. In the game against Belgium in the first game, we were down 1-0 uh, after five minutes. So our first um, goal was not to get a goal scored on in the first 15 minutes, and that we did, and then we scored one, so it was a good feeling. Yeah, it was a beautiful goal, the free kick from you, then a very beautiful goal from Geraldine Reutler. Eh? Yes, um, she has scored some beautiful goals recently um, mm -hmm. in the Bundesliga and also for FC Lucerne in the last season, so I knew that she could do it, and um, it's nice when she plays up top, she's always dangerous in front of the goal, and I think she, um, e not just the goal, but the whole, her whole game was really good. Um, it's it's fun for me to see that the young players are um, progressing. progressing so fast. Every game for them means so much in their development. And I played with Malin Good. She is a uh, year 2000 and uh, <laughs> I feel really old next to her. But it's like she has been there all her life. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, it just makes me happy to see that the young players are um, getting better every day. Yeah. And was there a bit of panic when Belgium scored 15 minutes before the end? I mean, you try not to panic, but you try to keep going uh, because nothing was lost. So it was not like complete panic, but it was a little bit panic. Mm -hmm. But then, um, yeah, good thing we finished the game uh, without getting another one. Then it would, be, it would have been real panic, but... I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And today, I guess it did. Yeah. And now the next opponent is the European champion, the Netherlands. Big game. You have played them for the qualification of the Olympics. Uh, what do you think this time? Uh, they have a really good team with a lot of really good players, really fast players, technical players, big players. Mm -hmm. They have everything. Um, they didn't just win the Euro uh, by accident. They, they deserved it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it will be really hard, but it will also be really fun and it will still be an opportunity to go to the World Cup for us, um, even though they are favorites, but maybe for us it's good not to be the favorites, I don't know. But um, no matter what happens, the games will help us develop even more, especially for the young players. Games like that are really important. And I also know that in Holland, there's a lot of spectators. It's a, an amazing atmosphere in the stadium. So I'm looking forward to playing them. Okay, I thank you and I wish you good luck. Thank you.